Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at this LG TV that it's uh, model number 65UQ70 and like you see on the right side it has it is uh, from 2022 model and it's 65 inches. One of the things I want to show you is on the box itself it says front once you put it towards the front then you can go ahead and open the box. Once you open the top portion of the box you'll see the legs and power cord and the remote and some instructions here so make sure you open the box from the top first get these things out because you'll need them and then continue it's better if you have somebody help you get the big box that goes on top and once you do that then this is how it looks so take out all the styrofoam and then put the legs on before you put it in its place. Besides the TV you get a remote and in the remote it has pre-programmed buttons like the Netflix, Disney, Prime and LG channels and you can control the soundbar and other stuff. Besides that you get the batteries to go with this. You got the power cable you got the two legs, one of them had an A on it, the other one has a B. Then you have this, and you have two of these. And it says uh, cable management. You got the screws for the legs, and then you have your owner's, owner's manual using your remote how to register your product. Here is the back of the TV. The legs are easy to put on there and there's not too many ways to put them on there. It does have like a locking mechanism where there's only one way to put them and underneath the TV it does have the letter A or B. You gotta match the leg that goes with that side. And then you have the three screws to put under each leg. So here in the middle he has where you have to plug it in. So you have the Ethernet cable here and here is the optical cable for your audio and then on this side you have first the antenna then you have the HDMI arc and then you have the HDMI 1 and then you have the USB and that's all you need and what I'm gonna do is plug in my speaker here and also connect the optical so I can get the audio here to the speaker and the control from here from the remote from the TV from the side it looks very thin here's my hand so it's not too thick it doesn't take a lot of space and the TV itself is not heavy once it's connected then it gives you terms and conditions you can read through it after you've selected where how you're gonna watch TV through the cable or antenna. It also asks if your TV is on a stand or wall mounted. You can choose to have this screen on or not when you turn it on. And now, then it's gonna start searching for the channels either using the cable, antenna, one or the other. I don't have an antenna on it but it searched for channels and it found one channel from LG and eight from the antenna. You can add more applications here. So let's see here and it takes you to the applications 
here you are. So now you have a lot of things to choose from. You got featured, entertainment. So you have different applications that you can download to your TV, including games. Now going back to the home screen, this is what it looks like. And you can switch around the apps that are down here. So whichever you use most, you can put it in front. You also have LG Fitness. You have a lot of things, including the Alexa, Explore, and you can go into your home dashboard, home dashboard, and here you can connect other devices so you can control them from here another thing that you can do is just play your media on the USB you could just have it on so it can be relaxing I do like that it has a very small edge around the TV it's not too big and this TV is going to another room but I'm just doing this video so you can see what the colors look like It has very nice vivid colors. You have a lot of darks and a lot of bright colors. And of course you can stream your shows, you can stream your movies, you can play, you can do so many other things here. You have the LG channels, a lot of LG channels to choose from. So now we have different picture modes on the left corner you have cinema sports filmmaker expert expert dark the other one was bright vivid standard APS which is auto powered so this one is pretty cool because you don't have to do much the TV chooses for you then you have sound, standard, cinema, clear, sports, music, game optimizer, AI sound, and back to standard. Game optimizer, speakers you can choose, all the rest of the settings are here. And you got the volume. the idea you can play around with the sound picture mode if you want to put it as to gaming uh, if you want to just put your pictures up there while you're having a gathering you have plenty of options to choose from I hope this video helps you in any way thank you for watching and enjoy